Hello and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 49. In this video I will be servicing a realistic model TR802 8-track tape recorder. This one does have Dolby noise reduction and various options for how to play the tape. The first setting will play the selected program repeatedly. The second setting will play the entire cartridge repeatedly. The third one will eject after the fourth program at the end of the tape, and the fourth setting will eject after each program. It also has a electronic eject, fast forward, and pause, and of course a record button. We also have the source microphone button that will switch between the microphone jacks on the front or the source input on the back and then our record levels. One of these meters is a bit stuck. It was like that when I bought it. It doesn't bother me. Now in the back here we have an output level control and then standard RCA input and output. So now let's take a look inside this thing. First thing I'm going to do is take this back cover off. All the wood on this is made of particle board. And then the wood grain finish on it is actually a veneer. Now I'm going to flip it over, there's a few screws on the bottom and we can pull the whole chassis out. There are a couple adjustments here on the bottom for the tape head. I'll just set it aside. And here we are, kind of. This vertical board here actually has the chips for the Dolby noise reduction. When I got this unit, the right channel was not working, and it was because of the Dolby noise reduction. I don't remember exactly how I did it. This was over 20 years ago. But right there is a jumper wire I put in. And now it works. Both channels are working for recording and for playback. I'm going to see if I can find a production date while I'm in here. I'm going to clean the tape head and I'm going to clean the capstan. Also the tape counter doesn't work because internally there is a cracked gear. I do have some gears, I'm going to try to see if I can make it fit. Probably not, but we'll find out. Here's a close up of the Dolby noise reduction board. The chip in here is an LM1011N, and the production date is the 25th week 
of 1978. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find any data sheets about these chips. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is take a look at the tape counter. I'll start by taking this little belt off. Now I believe I'm going to have to take the faceplate off in order to get this out of here. Yeah, I gotta take the faceplate off. I'll take it off off camera. I'll be right back. Alright, I have the faceplate off. As you can see, the VU meters are actually held in by the faceplate. Anyway, here's the counter. And it gets a little hard to turn right about here. So I'm going to take this screw out and we're going to take a look inside. And here's the cracked gear. You can kind of see it at the very bottom of the gear. I do have some gears here. I'm going to try to see if one of them will work. I highly doubt it. I have two different gears here, both of which are larger than the gear on this thing. The tooth count is the same, but the gear is too big. Neither one will fit. One doesn't fit the shaft, the other one doesn't fit the housing. So anyway, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put it back together and put it back in until I can find the proper gear. I'm just going to set it aside for now. I'm going to get back into servicing the 8-track tape recorder. The next step is I want to spray a little deox into these record controls. So this is what I'm putting in, deox it. I'm just going to put the little straw on the can and then I'm going to spray some in there. Then we're going to run them up and down, and I'm going to spray a little bit more in. And run them some more. They actually feel quite a bit smoother now. Now I'm going to go get some cotton swabs and some rubbing alcohol. Before I get to cleaning, this right here is the actual trigger mechanism that moves the head to change programs. That little wheel will actually grab the arm, it'll move it and lower the head down. Right now it's set for program 1, program 2, program 3, and program 4, and it'll come back up program one. Anyway, I have the rubbing alcohol and the cotton swab. So I'm going to go in here and clean the head.
I'm going to clean the sensing contacts. And now I'm going to clean the capstan. It's quite dirty. Looks like I'm going to have to continue cleaning this off camera. That's all there is to see at this point. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.